there. My name is HW. Hey, I'm Santa Seuss. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and good night. Out. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that's it. Um, yeah. that, no, no. Suze, uh, you have so many fans around the world. Mm. Maybe, maybe more than the actual Santa Claus at this point. Oh gosh! And uh, no, it's it's become a thing that we get messages, comments. There are people who religiously watch the Tone Junkie channel just to hear you play. Hmm. They don't even own a Kemper. That's crazy. To I me. know, I know. And they always say like, came, or I always get this comment: uh, came for the Kemper, stayed for, came for the tones, stayed for the playing. Oh, you know, that's very that's very nice of them. Yeah, and and it's because you have this, um, you have a, a, a very unique style. Hmm. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's, um, you know, it's out of, uh, it's not like Hendrix '69 making the guitar sure. sound different. Right. But you have a very noticeable style. Mm -hmm. It's, I, I could characterize it with certain things that I watch you do. I would bet that nobody knows you're playing as much as you, and then I'd be a close second. Because right. <laughs> I've, you edit a lot of yeah, I, I've seen you play a lot, I've watched you play a lot, yeah. um, and there's these things that you do mm -hmm. that make you sound like the Sues. Mm -hmm. And one question we get a lot is, how can I play, how do you, how do I play like the Sues? When are you gonna profile the Sues? Mm -hmm. I've always said the inputs and outputs are not compatible yet, but we're... <laughs> Maybe down the road. Actually, maybe down the road. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Maybe Kemper too. Right. But um, <laughs> so I thought it would be cool uh, if you could play us a little piece. Okay. Maybe a little Christmas piece because it's uh, it's timely. We're dressed like this. We're dressed so, like this uh, because yeah. we're recording uh -huh. this during Christmas. Yeah. People are going to be watching this video in three months, and it's going to seem ridiculous. Right. But uh, hey, this is how to play like uh, like Santa Sue's. <laughs> and um, so I thought it would be cool if you could play us a little thing that's very Sue's esque. Okay. And then we could break down a little bit some of the things you're doing in there and some of the things I see you do a lot. Sure, and, yeah. And give the people a couple uh, useful, practical, very applicable tips that they can work into their own playing mm -hmm. for how to play a little more like the Sues. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's hear cool. it. Uh, what are you going to play? Uh, let's see, like, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. How appropriate. <laughs> Very, very Sue's. <laughs> very Sue, yeah. It's very Sue's, uh -huh. right? It's um, it's obviously that song, uh, but it's you know arranged for a single guitar mm -hmm. in a very Sue's fashion. Yeah, yeah. Let's break down a couple of things you're doing there. Go, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, one of them is the you know we talked about the pick you know and, and um, this is a Herco pick. Anything that has grip on it, I mean, I, I gravitate towards that. We've talked about that before. Yeah. But it's flipping it around and using the scrapey side yeah. um, on the strings rather than using it for grip. Yeah, for and sure. And so, you know, so that was at the very end, just trying to show, like, if you use any normal pick with it, just kind of a regular end, it, it's just a little bit duller yeah. by comparison. Yeah. You know, so these two sounds, this is like the dull end. Yeah, that sounds like a pick. Yeah, like a fairly aggressive attack. Mm -hmm. How soft is this? Very soft? No, it's not very soft. No, it's like a what, what is, is this? This says light gauge. Um, I would liken this to a uh, um, like a, a dark, medium. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fender like medium. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like a Fender medium mm -hmm. or um, like a dark Dunlop. Not the light gray, yeah. but the dark gray Dunlop. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little bit firmer than that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then flipping it over, you get that scrape on the strings. Yeah, so you get two things. It's it's heavier, mm -hmm. and you know you get a stronger attack. Yeah. It doesn't bend as much. Yeah. You know, stiffer. And these are just Herco. Like you can go buy these. These are the gold ones. Yeah, yeah light gauge gold mm -hmm. nylon Herco picks. You mm -hmm. can buy these. Show us again that like back to back the regular attack and then the scrape. Okay, regulars here.
get that you know nice yeah. uh, really hard attack yeah you know so and i'll do it for rhythm i'll do it for big playing i'll do it for most things even on yeah. acoustic i'll play like that as well yeah so that's that's a really uh sort of, it's a subtle thing but it's something you hear yeah and like if you um if people are fans of the edge and they go get mm -hmm. um a Strat and a Deluxe Memory Man and a Vox AC30. Mm -hmm. They'll play it and it will sound almost just right. And then you get a Herco and you do that and then you go, oh my gosh, that is it. Right. And it's the last, it's like that last little mm -hmm. thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, and it's, and you do it a ton. I always am trying to tell people, like watch when he's doing this or that yeah. and watch, you know. Yeah, yeah. and he uses the uh, Herdom. Uh, picks okay, H E R D I M, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, and I've got a couple of those, yeah. They're very scrapey, like I'll oh, drop right, them right, all right, the time because right. they stick on the strings right, so much, right. but yeah, these are great. Yeah. Um, so then another one for me is like chord substitutions, you know, mm -hmm. and so that I think yeah. that phrase kind of is scary for some people, sure. But really, if you just go with a couple different rules, it's yeah, it's really easy. So, um, every time you get to like a four chord, yeah, um, you can also put a two minor chord in there, right? So, those are just interchangeable chords, right. you know, so like doing the melody. Landing on a four, landing yeah. on a two minor. So you were playing Hark the Herald in D, mm -hmm. and so you're going. Uh, the second chord there that you're playing is uh, is a G. A going four, to a G, right? yeah. And but when you went through it the second time, you can play it for us again. When you went through mm -hmm. the second time, you went to the two minor. You go to an E minor. minor yep. You just replace the E minor. You mm -hmm. just put a uh, minor two where the where the four goes, where the yep. major four goes. Yeah, and there's a couple other substitutions like that, like uh, minor three could go over five, or you know, of course, mm -hmm. one could be substituted with minor six. You know, that kind of yep. stuff. So when you're arranging songs or playing through stuff, just throw in one of those mm -hmm. substitutions and see what it does to the sound. And yeah, it's it's fun. You know? Show us that again. Show us that that uh, that sort of beginning part where okay. you first go to the four. And the melody is like sort of implied, mm -hmm. right? Like you're, you're 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 starting with the melody, and then you're going to a chord, and yeah. our brain sort of fills in. You're right. not playing every, you know, you're not playing the full melody over the piece. And so, yeah. but but you can, right? You mm -hmm. can go to the my, the two, and then you, you the melody keeps going, and it gives it a yeah, a, 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 it's just a little a fresh interesting yeah to the ears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the other thing uh, that you do? This is this I watch you do a lot, mm -hmm. and um, this I've said in other videos. Um, if you want to play the Sue's play less and watch what he's playing, mm. you know, because sometimes it looks like you're just hitting a chord, but if you look closely, I realize, you know, you're only hitting two notes mm -hmm. or you're hitting three notes and, and you're really being intentional about that. Totally, yeah. Um, uh, t talk about like a, 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 that, that four. You're playing it as a you're playing it as a G two. Yeah, yeah. So on the four chord of songs, I, I add that two a lot mm -hmm. to it. You know, so for a G, um, just go up one whole yeah. step up to an A. Yeah. And I usually kind of put it higher, uh, yeah. mid range or whatever. You can put it way high if you want. And, and you can always do that in any yeah. major key. It the always, fourth, you can always. Yeah, it ends up being the mm -hmm. five of the key you're in, so it's an mm -hmm. A and a key of D. Um, but yeah, it just adds a little bit of like a continuity to uh, those chords uh, from going from one to the next. Yeah. The sound of like this versus yeah, just pedal tones across the top. Yeah. You know, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, it, it's subtle because it's you're you're. I mean, this is like we could you get way into theory, yeah. but like you're laying off the F sharp mm -hmm. because in the D. It's a three, right? But in when you want to go to the G, you're not trying to make it a major seven. Yeah, I keep so you're on. adding to, but it, but it, but be, it sounds like the same voicing on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Just by omitting that note and adding a G. Yeah, you've 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 almost arrived at. I mean, you're playing a a, a four, uh, you know, with the G. So it's a it's a it's a G two. Mm -hmm. But you're um, you're you're almost also just adding a you know, uh, it, a different bass. Yeah, note. and it's yeah. a simple chord. I mean, it really only has three notes. It's got yeah. G, D, A, and D again. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's got those three, you know. And so that's another thing. It's not trying to put in six notes or big chords all the time. Right. Just We talked a little bit before about this, just the triads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we and talked about that in other videos. Yeah. You'll just play a one, five, three. Mm -hmm. And sort of the, the rule there is almost like the more verb the less you play. Yeah, right. You know, the more, the Not bigger. muddying it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something you do a ton. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that's something good... you do a ton. You're strumming right now, 
but I would say, you know, for this piece, yeah, you know, yeah. you're, you're, you're doing that, but I would say 75% of the time in mm -hmm. the Tone Junkie demos that we do, uh, where you're playing, you are somewhere in that piece, mm -hmm. you do, hitting a, hitting a chord and it's a very minimal voicing. Yeah, and that would be something maybe to try at home if you've never done that, is just go up a scale mm -hmm. and just play those three voicings, you yeah. know? So like in C, it would just be these three. And then D. Go up to F. G. And C. Yeah. I mean, just and the real thing, the, show them with the octave note in there. So you're omitting, what well, you're omitting, because yeah. you're playing like like with, with those chords, it's a, the the, the A string is the bass note, right? Mm -hmm. So you're playing the A, D, and then you're going to the, you're skipping the G and going to the B string, because mm -hmm. that G string is the octave of the bass you just played. Yeah. Play that, and we'll all hear that sound. It's familiar. It'll sound like a chord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, yeah, because the guitar is tuned and fits. It's easy to get those yeah. octaves right there. So that's how that's how chords sound to us on the guitar. But just by taking that away, yeah, it gives a very it's like a piano voicing almost. It's yeah. a simpler sort of, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Only what you need. Only what you need. Yeah. And that's actually, it's, it, that is how a lot of people will play chords on the piano. Sure. They'll construct yeah. them that way. There uh -huh. won't be a third between the bass note, the fifth, and then there'll be a higher third. Yeah. You know, and there might be other stuff, but you know, well, they could put an octave mm -hmm. uh, in the higher. Anyway, okay. That is, uh, you can always add a two. You can yeah. always make yeah. the four, the four chord. Uh, uh, a two, two minor, yeah. And then uh -huh. uh, what do you do for the fifth? Uh, so a, that's the minor third, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then uh, the one you can just throw a minor six in there, and right, right. It'll be sad all yeah. of a sudden. But you can always, you can always uh, sus the five chord. Yes, that's yeah, right. Uh -huh. yeah. So the sussing the five, the five chord brings the top one up to the one of the key that you're mm -hmm. in. So for A, you know, instead of going, you could just sus that A chord. Yeah, and that's like just in the the fill-ins, add-ins that you mm -hmm. put in a lot of chords, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's how you sound like the suits, huh? There's a couple ways. Yeah. <laughs> just turn on the verb, so, right? Yeah, I love it. The yeah. other thing you do, and I think people shouldn't be afraid of, is mm -hmm. you're not a play because you, like, I think the, the, the more you play with a lot of verb and delay, mm -hmm. the less you become afraid of small voicings. Hmm. And one of the things I watch you do a lot is you'll especially do this, you, you, and I'll just throw this out, you haven't talked about this yet, but hmm. you will start like you do on this piece, um, like Hark the Herald Angel. Mm -hmm. you, you're, you have a G note droning, hmm. you know, right there, mm -hmm. and you're in the key of D. So you're not starting with this low D note mm -hmm. that gives us this sort of reference, right? You're starting and we're hearing the key of D, and then it makes it all the more dramatic when you drop down. Because you, I know you do this a lot, you'll have mm -hmm. the first chord, you'll sort of, you'll stick on the melody or you'll play it as a smaller voicing. Mm -hmm. That way when you go to the, that, when the change happens, yeah. then we get the sort of emotional effect of this, this big lower bass. Note. Yeah. So even like just what you're playing, if you play it again, mm -hmm. people can hear that. And you're letting the A ring out too. Yeah, just kind of yeah, all yeah, underneath yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but so like sorry, I said the G. I meant there is a the D's ringing out and the A, the A is. Yeah, is, the is the, I, I misspoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're you're sort of just letting. There's obviously the D in the bass, but mm -hmm. you're the A is there. So there's a five, right? And then when you jump down, like play the part where you jump, where you go down to the, yeah. the four chord. Yeah, just, a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it just make it just it gives the guitar the permission to like sort of be just yeah. doing the melody or come down and support itself. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's in there a lot and it's it's uh it's very melodic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it's like following musical. the melody around could be its own video, I'm sure. You know, but yeah, just of course. getting that yeah. on the top of all your chords. Yeah. That's always just fun to try yeah. that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well that's it, they're done. You've given away all my secrets. All right, that's all the secrets. <laughs> no. You know what's amazing is it, it's it's like um, you know, it's like Eric Johnson. It's like how many different ways can you play the pentatonic scale and make it sound completely different? Mm. It's like you wouldn't think there would be that many, but like Eric Johnson isn't playing things that are. It's like how do you do that? Mm -hmm. And then you you break down the lick and you're like, that's a pentatonic run, but it's his phrasing that's different than anybody yeah, else's. Like and then it just gives it like a very fresh feel, yeah. you know. And it's and then 
you hear someone like Bonamassa do it, and you'll say that's very Johnson esque. It's mm -hmm. very Eric Johnson esque, right. you know. And it, but it's 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 that thing. There's a there's a Sue's esque sound hmm. to the guitar, and uh, even if you know these tricks, it's you, you, have, <laughs> you have to sort of put them together, you know, in a way right. that makes that makes sense. Um, well, thank you very much. You're it's, very welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. It's uh, no, really. I mean, we get a ton of comments, and I'm sure we sh we should really do more of these videos where we break down maybe just things. This was just a little example. Yeah. You know, uh -huh, people, sure. and and it's these kind of things. People always say they'll say like, does does he ever play the same thing twice? <laughs> I'm always thinking, <laughs> actually, like you do play the same yeah, thing twice, uh -huh. but you begin to. Like, because I watch you play week to week to week to week, uh -huh. and so sometimes I see musical ideas come into your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. You will use them, and then the next week they've they've become just a part of something else, mm -hmm. or they have adapted into something almost unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, now right. they're just a part of a thing, or it's the beginning part of something somewhere right. else. You go, you know, and that's. Um, that's always funny for me to see. Hmm. Does he replace the same thing twice? Yeah, you know, a lot of embellishing, a lot, a lot of coming, coming up on the spot. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. yeah, a lot. I've never understood myself this much. <laughs> <laughs> like only HW can do. Ah. Yeah. Well, you. I do watch you play a lot. Uh, um, well, I hope this was helpful, guys. This is uh, this is a, a tip and trick from Santa Sue's, mm -hmm. and um, we should do more stuff on just how to play better. I'm down. Because 2020. The spo I'll spoil this little thing, and, and, and this is the unfortunate truth. You will, if you omitted buying a profile pack and instead spent the hour you would spend going through it, mm -hmm. going on YouTube, watching someone play something, and then learning just that learning. thing, yeah, and know. then just trying to look for one or two ideas that you could apply other places, mm -hmm. you would become, you'd be, it would be infinitely more beneficial to your tone, <laughs> right? Your, right? Yeah. I okay. mean, I've been happy with the Kemper since I first started with yeah. it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I'd still be playing with it. Had we never made profiles, had I just been playing some Michael Britt stuff, I'd mm -hmm. still be a huge Kemper fan. Totally. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. And then, and then uh, I still play the '90s AC30 profiles that that we made, the, the Ace 30 pack. Mm -hmm. I still play those maybe more than anything else. And, and that's a little bit laziness. I know I have a live sound that works for Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. I work in other profiles, but I always work it in, and, and those are my safeties. Right, right. Like I always put them in, let me try something else. But then inevitably, I always end up switching back to oh, the old favorite, yeah. you know, just sure. somewhere. So I don't have to think about it mm -hmm. much, you know? Yeah. We find new stuff we like, but you, uh, you, you never don't sound like the Sues. Hmm. And to a degree, I never don't sound like HW. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You always sound like, and that's. So when they say it's in the fingers, it's in the fingers, I think, as you're doing these things. Yeah, yeah. your personality comes out and then your preferences, you know, yeah. are part of your tone. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Well, hey, like, subscribe, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Yes. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Are you going to wear this year round now? I think so. All yeah. right. This will just, we'll just, you'll be Santa Sue's year round. Uh -huh. Well, I've been HW. Yeah, I've been Santa Sue's. And uh, play us out, Santa Sue's. <laughs>